Hello mga kasoman! Salamat sa ating mga 576 subscribers na patuloy na tumatangkilik sa programang ito. Naway pagpalain po kayo ng poong may kapal. Welcome to the OTB Channel, your learning and educational channel. This video is about prayer for our nation, the Philippines, because I do believe that prayer is our powerful weapon against the principalities in the spiritual realm. And mga kasoman, please don't forget to click the subscribe button below and be one of our 1,000 subscribers to win the secret prize. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for the churches in the Philippines. May they be filled with the knowledge of your will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding so as to walk in a manner worthy of you, fully pleasing to you, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of you. May they be strengthened with all power according to your glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy. Give thanks to you. From Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 to 12. Lord Jesus, we pray for the children of the Philippines. We do so remembering that you want the children to come to you. You do not want them hindered, for to such belong the kingdom of God. Bless them, we pray. From the book of Mark chapter 10 verses 13 to 16. God, our merciful Father, Son Jesus and Holy Spirit God, you are always been good to us. We pray with our voice for our beloved country, for our leaders, and for every citizen. Lord, this is the Philippines, the land of our birth, the land that we love. You made this land and give us to us. Thank you for our freedom and patrimony and for the abundant blessing we constantly or we constantly receive as a nation. Rule among our people so that we may never misuse these gifts through selfishness and greed. Rule through our leaders and guide them in ways of justice and peace. Conceal them, O God, and may fortitude abide with them that may be conduct or may conduct the affairs of men in accordance with your divine will. Grant them the wisdom to make decisions for the benefit of the population and not for their personal interest. May the government seek to reconcile power with the needs of society to foster nation building and usher in progress. Grant, O Lord, to every Filipino the gift of respect for lawful authority, justly exercised that we may live as a united people. Our nation under God, help each citizen to live up to civil obligations with a sense of pride, patriotism, and conviction. Inspire in each of us a sense of devotion to every duty and an urgency to serve. May we each develop a sense of responsibility to care for one another, every, ever ready to share and cooperate for the good of our family, our community, and our country. Help us to live in peace with one another and preserve this unity of our nation. We pray for lasting peace, particularly in regions plagued by insurgency and separatism. 
teach us how to work for harmony and understanding amidst the ethnic, social, political, and religious diversity. Hold us in your hands, Lord Jesus. Light our paths, advise us in our doubts, strengthen in our difficulties, help us right our wrongs and mend our ways, heal our wounds and divisiveness, and console us in our afflictions. Be with us as ever during calamities and national tragedy. Teach us to respect and protect the environment in our natural resources. May we be one in our effort to conserve energy and keep us respective areas clean and safe. Come to our aid, Lord. Bless our endeavors that foster nation building. Grant us the necessary grace to be dedicated in our quest for progress and development and aspire each of us to share the talents and skills you bestowed on us to be used for the common good. May our nation strive to form bonds of unity between countries to support policies and actions that foster global peace, keep us free from foreign invaders, imperialistic and fakest agenda, let us live in harmony with the international community, upholding always the human rights and dignity of every nationality. We pray for the safety of every Filipino traveler and those in foreign lands away from their loved ones to work. Lighten the burden of our countrymen who are oppressed of or experiencing injustice in our in other lands strengthen those who are away from their native land facing racial or cultural bias and console those who are longing for home hearken as lord in love for the truth in one another help us to be people who consistently walk with you and living life in your righteousness make us realize that we are called to spread good news not only among other people or our people but also throughout the world so lead us grow in faith in hope in love to become your faithful witnesses let your holy will be done for us we pray in jesus name Amen. Seal this prayer with the most precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ or our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. This is dedicated to all our country and this is for the prayer for the Philippines. This is again the online teacher blog channel. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button below and be one of our 1,000 subscribers to win the secret prize. Thank you so much, mga kasoman, and it's time to say goodbye now. God bless and see you next time. Bye!